When we look at the laws under the Old Covenant, are we tempted to think that some were too harsh and some were amazing? Do we judge God by our society's corrupt standards? Or do we humbly seek to learn? Let's look at Exodus 22. What compensation was a thief to pay? Was there something similar to the castle law, the fundamental right to self-defense? When someone steals an ox or a sheep and then slaughters or sells it, the thief must pay back five oxen for the one ox or four sheep for one sheep. If the thief is caught breaking in and is beaten and dies, the one who killed him won't be guilty of bloodshed. However, if this happens in broad daylight, then the one who killed him is guilty of bloodshed. For his part, the thief must make good on what he stole. If he has nothing, he must be sold to pay for his theft. If an animal, whether ox, donkey or sheep, is found alive in the thief's possession, he must pay back double. What compensation must be paid when your animal grazes a neighbor's property? If you allow any of your animals to stray from your property and graze in someone else's field or vineyard, you must repay the damage from the best part of your own harvest of grapes and grain. How should someone who starts a fire that gets out of control compensate for any damages? If fire breaks out and catches in thorns so that the stacked grain or the standing grain, or the field is consumed, he who started the fire shall make full restitution. How should a theft be investigated when someone cares for a neighbor's possessions? When a man gives his neighbor money or goods to keep, but they're stolen from that person's house, the thief, if caught, must repay double. If the thief is not caught, the owner of the house must present himself to the judges to determine whether or not he's taken his neighbor's property. In any case of wrongdoing involving an ox, a donkey, a sheep, a garment, or anything else lost, and someone claims, that's mine, the case between the two parties is to come before the judges. The one the judges condemn must repay double to his neighbor. How should a loss be investigated when someone cares for a neighbor's possessions? When a man gives a donkey, ox, sheep, or any animal to his neighbor for safekeeping, and it dies or is injured or is driven away when no one's looking, the two of them are to take an oath in the Lord's presence that the accused has not taken his neighbor's property. Its owner is to accept this, and the neighbors not to make restitution. But if it was actually stolen from him, the neighbors to make restitution to its owner. If it was torn to pieces, let the neighbor bring the remains as evidence, and he's not to make restitution for what was torn apart. How should a loss be investigated when someone borrows a neighbor's possessions? If a man borrow aught from his neighbor, and it be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be a hired thing, it came for his hire. What was the law regarding premarital sex? If a man seduces a virgin who is not engaged and lies with her, he must pay a dowry for her to be his wife. If her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, he shall pay money equal to the dowry for virgins. What was the penalty for sorcery or someone who practices witchcraft? You shall not allow a sorceress to live. What was the penalty for bestiality? sexual relations with an animal. Anyone who has sexual relations with an animal is to be put to death. What was the penalty for sacrificing to foreign gods? 
Was there tolerance of multiculturalism in this area? Anyone who sacrifices to any god other than the Lord must be destroyed. How were they to treat foreigners within their borders? You shall not wrong an alien or oppress him, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. How were they to treat widows and orphans? How serious was God about this? Don't treat any widow or orphan badly. If you do treat them badly and they cry out to me, you can be sure that I'll hear their cry. I'll be furious and I'll kill you with the sword. Then your wives will be widows and your children will be orphans. How were lenders to handle interest on loans? How corrupt are our banks by comparison? Don't charge interest when you lend money to any of my people who are in need. Before sunset you must return any coat taken as security for a loan, because that's the only cover the poor have when they sleep at night. I'm a merciful God, and when they call out to me, I'll come to help them. How should they speak about God or rulers of the people? You shall not revile God, nor curse a ruler of your people. How are they to handle offerings and their firstborn? You must not hold back offerings from your harvest or your vats. Give me the firstborn of your sons. Do the same with your cattle and your flock. Let them stay with their mothers for seven days, but on the eighth day you're to give them to me. How are they to handle the meat of an animal torn apart in the field? You're to be people set apart for me. You're not to eat flesh torn apart in the field. You're to throw it to the dogs. When we look at the laws under the Old Covenant, are we tempted to think that some were too harsh and some were amazing? Do we judge God by our society's corrupt standards? Or do we humbly seek to learn? You decide.